four things you need to do to protect your biodigester. As your go-to biodigester guy, he show you all the necessary things you need to do to protect your biodigester. I have been asked this question of, in my honest opinion, what do I think of comparing a biodigester to a septic tank? And what I've told some of the people I spoke to is same as asking somebody to compare SMS text to WhatsApp. So that's the analogy I give when somebody say, in your honest opinion, will this technology be better or is it better than what we have grown up with, what we know over the years, which is the manholes or the septic system? The first thing you must do to protect your biodigester during this lockdown is to ensure that you do not flush the water closet or the units unnecessarily. Yes, that's the first thing you must do. I've seen digesters being done for people. I've seen people go and then split in their washroom and then all they do is to flush, 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 flush. Too much water is not good for the body digester. Apart from saving water during the hard times, it also has an effect on your pocket. This is the time to teach your children how to use your facility correctly. Even though a toilet can handle a reasonable amount of toilet paper and it's safe to flush tissue in the newly designed biodigester, don't use your toilet bowl as a universal garbage disposal. Too much toilet paper can clog the drain. Don't flush anything else other than human waste and toilet paper down the toilet. The idea of the biodigester size is because of the capacity of the easiest one and then obviously the property in which the biodigester is being constructed for. So if it's a commercial property, then you're looking at the commercial or the industrial type of biodigester. If it's a standard family house, three, four bedroom, you're looking at the standard size digesters or the medium size, or even the large family size digester, depending on the number of rooms that are in the house and then the number of toilet seats that are also in the house. When shopping for toiletries, pick a toilet tissue that's been proven to break up easily when wet. This way, it won't cause any trouble when it's already in your digester. Now, the second most important thing that you must do to protect your biodigester is simple. Secure it. Just go ahead and secure your biodigester. I've done biodigesters for people or clients and I've seen them just leaving the digester as it was done. When we finish a biodigester for a client, we expect them to secure it. This means that doing everything possible to make sure that the digester is in firm position. Whenever you install a biodigester, the onus lies on you to protect your investment. This means doing things that generally makes your digester last longer. You can fill around your digester to bring it up to the desired level to ensure that soak holes dug for your digester work well. You can then design the digester to fit the general landscape of your compound. Before we continue with the video, I would like to know if you are getting any value so far from the video, then please go ahead and give a thumbs up and like this video. And if you're also new to the channel, then you can subscribe and be part of this growing community of biodigestal lovers. Let's go. Step three, keep trees away from your biodigester. It's not only trees that must be kept away from your biodigester, but anything, including cars, must also be kept away from it, especially the top slab. I do know of clients who we have done biodigesters for and were thinking of having it buried. Sometimes we don't advise that. Some even said they wanted their cars parked on it. But we also advise this that it's not necessary based on the fact that the space that you need for biodigester installation is not big and as such can be hidden at the backyard of your house. Three, keep trees away from your biodigester. In landscaping and general design of your compound, beware of trees which have roots that grow and extend aggressively. They should be kept far from the digester 
to avoid any damage. You can plant grass instead in the drain field or soak hole areas to prevent and minimize the instances of soil erosion. It is raining outside. That means water and wetness everywhere. Everywhere is wet. And that's exactly what biodigesters hate. The idea of a biodigester is simply making sure that the biodegradation that happens happens in an environment which is dry, an environment of less moisture. So your biodigester hates water. If there's water in your biodigester, you are going to have problem. You are going to have smell. And then the biodegradation is not going to work well. It's the water that introduces maggot in the traditional holding tanks, which is the septic tanks. So the key parts or the key hack, the key trick for you when it comes to biodigester construction is to make sure that the wastewater or the water is always out. Divert rainwater or any other soak away water from the biodigester soak hole pit. This is important. When the drain field or soak away designed for the digester is soggy, it would have challenges in absorbing the filtered wastewater. To prevent this, landscaping and foundation drains should be planned and executed accurately. Consult a professional regarding this matter. Bonus plan! And to five, which is the and to five, which is the bonus point. Do regular maintenance. Bonus point. Do perform regular maintenance. Make sure your biofuel digester wastewater is maintained every one to three years by a professional. Remember, the frequency of having your maintenance done varies with each household and their lifestyle, that is, the amount of users and the type of facility it is. It is best to consult a professional again to know how often you should have maintenance done. I mean, I, and can be hidden at the backyard of your house. Oh, honey, I'm doing recording. Can't you see I'm recording? <laughs> I'll get back to you, okay? Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. For these four tips, if you still, if you still, if you still to the end, and to keep your budget, and to keep, to provide COVID-19 is going to take, or is going to happen, if you are new here, consider subscribing. We are, we are, we are also, our, our, this includes your biodigester. Huh. What are, this seems to be,